Hey, what's going on guys? This is Goldbrot once more, bringing you some more commits. So this episode will be all about dungeons. As you can see in the title, we are getting the achievement Dungeons 3.5. So in total, we are going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 dungeons in this video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So in the last episode, we just killed the Wab Wabbit in the exact part of the Carrot Duffus. So we needed to talk to Percy Point, and now he is sending us to talk to Simon Tail. She is gonna be over here in the Breeder Village, and she is the one that's gonna give us the next episode of Dungeons. So as you can see over here, we just completed the advanced dungeons in the previous episode with the Wobbit. Now we need to go to the Jelly Dimension. Remember that in order for you to be able to enter to this dimension, you need to use a multi jelly. But don't worry, she will provide you one. So after taking the quest from her and using the multi jelly, here we are in the Delhi dimension. Now, be mindful that you need to get some resources from this dungeon. Specifically, they are some kind of liquid jellies because you need one of each color to be able to defeat all four royal jellies at the same time. So for example, in the first room, I would go with strawberry jellies and I will get a strawberry jelly resource of these ones. So yeah, it's a pool of strawberry jelly. Now you need one of the green one, one of the blue one, and one of the yellow one. So as you can see in the second room, you have a mob with three strawberry jellies. You can take that one, you need to take another one. So in this case, I took the blue one to be able to get the blue pool of jelly right now from the third room and so on you will get only two of the same color in a single mob so it means that if you took the blue ones as I did in here you would take either the lemon ones or the mint ones right in my case I took the mint ones and now in the fourth room, I'm taking the lemon ones because those are just the last ones, you know. And so after killing this last mob with four bosses, you will get a pool of lemon jelly. With that being done, you just need to speak to any of the royal jellies and it will appear a message that will say attack the royal jellies I mean all of them so it's really easy in this first combat I will go with Colbert and Gunsel so I hope you enjoy the combat and remember that this format will be with no comments at all it's just gonna be the combat so enjoy this one
All right, we made it. Look at those achievements, those resources, experience, and camas. <laughs> Juicy, right? All right, so after doing this, we will need to speak to Simon again, and she will give us some experience and some camas as well as Kamen. And now we need to defeat Kurlo. He is going to be in Otomai Island, so here you have the combat.
So actually, this combat is a little bit tricky because of the achievements. But well, I was only able to get a couple of them because I was a little bored at this dungeon. But anyways, we talked to Simon again and she will now tell us that we need to go right to the Nilwyn dungeon. Now this is a bit tricky because you need to go to the temple of the Ayab to get an access quest, which is where did the seventh company go? So I should pick to Rish Climber, you will ask for work and he will tell you that some people are lost, so you need to look for them. And the precise place where you need to look for them is actually here at the inn in city mode. And uh, in the basement of this place, you will find Nolan, the dungeon of Nolan. So as you come here, you need to start speaking with people over here, starting with the Anarifs on the left. Then you will speak to the Sedita. And one thing to notice is that you can teleport your group. At least the first time you come here, I tried it and it didn't work. So here you have the boss and I hope you like this one. Cool, so after killing Nelwyn, we will speak to Bresh once more and we will get some experience, some money, and look at this. Now we have another emote. <laughs> I love this one too. So we report back to Simon and she will send us to a very, very sandy place. Yep. We need to go to this the desert, sorry. I don't know if it's Owami or Owami. I, I don't really know how to pronounce that. The best way to get there is by using the boat at Matherstem and then just walk to the dungeon. And don't forget to pass through the sap, alright? Just walk by. Now here 
thank God you can teleport your group, so not a big deal. And uh, well, here I'm not explaining the strategy I made, but I'm actually getting most or every single achievement. So if you want to know how do you do it, just stay close and stick to the video and it'll help you a lot.
Tradition. Geralt wins. Flawless victory. Right, so now we are talking to Simon once more. Yeah, once more. This is gonna be the last time, I promise. <laughs> so now we need to go to the Wabbit Island, and guess what? You need to follow the dungeon path. <laughs> now, if you don't know how to take this dungeon path, I would recommend you to go and watch my How to Get the Character first video, and I'm showing you that. All right, so this bus is super simple, and I'm gonna explain you something in shortly. But first, you need to watch most of the gambit. I'll be back soon. Alright, this is something that I explained in the previous video, but if you actually get this monster between two of these bots, you are able to kill him with pushback damage, as you can see over here. Excellent. Okay, so here we are talking to Simon for the very last one. Now, this is the last one. Yeah. All right, so after talking to her, we need to go to Ottoman Island and talk to Roxy Ring. She is going to be our next sponsor, chief, boss, I don't know, you name it. And here you have it, Dungeons 3.5. So, 
Did you like the video? Express it. Go and push that like button as well as the subscription button because that's the only way you can really help me out. And I hope you're doing just great, guys. I will see you in the next one. <laughs>